What is good YouTube, JPR Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean the sensor on your Sony mirrorless camera. My A7S recently has some dust in the sensor and I, I just can't take it. I got to take it out, clean it out. I usually don't clean my sensor so much because I don't want to damage the sensor. It's the most sensitive and delicate part of the camera. So as much as I can, I try to avoid cleaning the sensor. But just that dust is so in the way, I gotta get rid of it before I start shooting some Sakura next week. So I wanna have a nice clean sensor and a clean slate to do some shooting. First thing you wanna do is make sure you power down, camera is off, and just for safety, I actually remove the battery. It's always a good precaution to take whenever you're fiddling with liquids and electronic devices. All right. So there are a couple things we're gonna need and that is this little fella here, camera sensor cleaner, and this one, this came in a set. And make sure that the swabs you're using are for the appropriate sensor size. I got a full frame camera, so I got full frame sensor swabs. If you got APS-C, I think it's the blue color, APS-C one. Now you get these at Amazon so cheap and never reuse them use them only one time it's better to spend money on new swaps than having to spend money on a new camera because you have terrible quality now usually i like to use about two swaps so i'll go ahead and get them ready here just in case if i get the swab too wet then i'll have one standby ready to go to dry up the sensor but the little microfiber end the soft tip part of the swab never touch it with your oily greasy fingers next thing we do is we're just gonna drip just a little bit i like to do one drop or two there we go so I just did like one or two drops. It's not drenched, it's not completely wet, but it's just wet enough on one side. And then we're gonna take the sensor and we're gonna go from one side straight on to the other one. Never scrub, never wipe. Just one clean swipe. Go to the edge and swipe one smooth stroke to the edge and then pick up and that should do it so we're gonna put our lens back in all right so next thing we gotta do is we gotta take a picture of a white area and it's always best to stop down as much as you can so i'm gonna go to f18 f16 should be enough and you want to just shoot a white area all right there we go now we need to inspect for dust and it is gone it's no longer there zoom in hundred percent i just want to go around the whole frame you see that orange box i'm going around the whole frame looking for any dark shadows now this dust is actually the table this dot there yeah no sensor dust i'm going all over the edges all right, our sensor is nice and clean. We are ready to shoot outside in the blue sky, get some nice Sakura shots. Now there are a couple other things you can do to always keep your sensor and your camera clean. One is to don't change your lens as much as you can. Avoid changing lenses outside whenever you can. So just plan ahead what you're gonna shoot, what are your subjects, what lenses do you need? And if you do change lenses, just change it in a closed area, like a room or something, or in the car. Don't be outside in the beach, on the sand. And another tip that I like to do to keep my camera clean is I tape it. So all this gaffer tape that you see everywhere, I'm actually just using it not for privacy or for consideration of others, just I wanna protect the camera. I wanna avoid getting the scratches that all these mirrorless cameras, or all cameras basically, end up scuffed up on the edges, on the corners, and on the especially on the mounting area that this place also i want to make sure it's nice and clean so if i ever resell it it is gonna be in nice condition to sell that's how i always end up selling my cameras the same price i pay for them 
I have never lost value reselling my cameras because I take care of them. But another cool safety piece, which is coming in a future video, are these quick release straps. These are awesome. And these are not the expensive brand that you see on Amazon, the plastic version, and they have worked excellent, even with big old heavy lenses, such as my Sigma, uh, the 15 to 35. It even holds this lens very well so that's coming up in a future video so don't forget to subscribe like the video if you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one peace